Soka, and Siva Soka to be here. Today's event is something you've been waiting for for a long, long time, and it's a dream come true for most of you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Coming back to today's program, it gives me great pleasure to now invite the Director of Economics, Mr. Chekhov Tamini Tokula. Thank you, Floyd. This investment to good use in improving your livelihoods, provide for your families, and be an available member for Micro Small Business Grant Program is at its contribution. Senior government officials, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Lord Vina, and a very good morning to all of you. <clears throat> it's a pleasure to be here this morning with the people of Nandi. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a continuation of the 2017-2018 MSBG grant disbursement, which was rolled out in Latoka last month. And we were in Bar on Wednesday, as uh, said earlier. I thank you all for coming here today and for your patience, which shows your commitment to making a difference for yourself and in your society. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we will provide grants to 600, 600 successful uh, recipients here in Nandi. And I wish to applaud the resilience of the people from the Western Division. You have not let any natural disaster bring you down. You all are examples of how positive attitude and endurance can overcome any hurdle. And by being here today, you have demonstrated that you are ready to continue with your lives, either by starting a new business or by growing an existing business. Ladies and gentlemen, as continuously demonstrated by the Fijian government through programs intended to improve the lives of the grassroots communities, we will not be leaving anybody behind in this journey towards prosperity. We will not neglect the needs of our people and we will ensure that your endeavors for operating micro and small businesses are supported. Ladies and gentlemen, at the conclusion of today's event, the number of businesses assisted will total 19,548 uh, around the country with an investment by government of more than $19 million since the launch of the program in 2015. This program has affected and impacted the lives of more than 100,000 Fijians. And I wish to reiterate here that this program is one of government's most important initiatives and is championed by none other than the Honorable Prime Minister himself. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the Fijian government's key strategic priorities is to increase the participation of MSMEs in the global value chains, or GBCs, as we say. The MSBG initiative will contribute towards our endeavor of fulfilling this goal. The government is laying the platform whereby opportunities for forward linkages for our MSMEs will be available through the completion of government's manufacturing and services zone here in the Western Division. These opportunities will present themselves in the form of catering, transportation, logistics, and other service providers for international companies that will establish their operations in this manufacturing and services zone. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the time to start thinking big and planning ahead to make the most of these opportunities that will arise once the services zone is fully operational. And please remember, always remember, that big businesses started small, but with careful planning and foresight, were able to become successful today. We might have a number of you reach a level where you are also able to have a presence in the manufacturing and services zone. Nothing is impossible. 
as we, your government, are here to support you wherever we can. Ladies and gentlemen, through our partnership with the Fiji Development Bank on this program, we are confident that a number of you will go on to expand your current businesses with further financial assistance from the FDB. You already have the advantage of having your business listed with the FDB, who together with the Ministry would be able to provide the relevant support and advice for those who intend to grow and intend to grow their businesses. This support will be provided in the form of business development, trainings and advice, advisory support delivered by a number of our departments, such as the cooperative businesses and the Integrated Human Resource Development Program, the IHRDP. To complement our efforts to ensure that your businesses are sustainable, we have also allocated resources towards our monitoring and evaluation of all our key programs and projects, including the MSBG initiative. This will also enhance our ability to implement corrective measures to sustain this program. Ladies and gentlemen, today we will also be issuing new registered and renewed leases to 50 recipients. And this includes 22 residential and agricultural leases and six civil and commercial leases. And out of these 50 leases, 10 lessees have been identified and confirmed from Singatoka, 18 from Latoka, and 22 from Nandi. And I know you have waited for this day to arrive, and this morning I'm pleased to say that your wait is actually all over. Ladies and gentlemen, today's handover of leases is also an indication of government's commitment to your well-being. And we will continue to ensure that we deliver services to the best of our ability to allow all ordinary Fijians access to basic and essential amenities and infrastructure. All this and more is what encompasses the lease documents that you'll receive today. So with those few words, ladies and gentlemen, I wish in and each and every one of you the very best for today. So thank you very much. Nanbad, Inabalebu, thank you. Thank you for having me.